than any other profession. That is why Holy Prophet peace be upon him calls himself a teacher instead of calling himself a judge, an administrator, or any other person. There is a English thinker whose name is Richard Howard. He states, give your teachers respect they deserve because they are the ones who can help you to get where you need to go. It is only the power of a teacher who can motivate you and who can get you there where you need to go. Under the light of these two saints, my topic is clear. My two days lecture topic is real respect for a teacher. In this topic, there are three key words, real, respect and teacher. Now first let me define what is meant by real. Real means purity, purity of your heart, purity of actions which you perform in your daily life. Second, respect. Respect means to acting upon the advice of someone and teacher. According to me, teacher is a director who directs you for good performance on this worldly stage. Shakespeare, who is father of English literature and he is considered as pioneer of English drama, English drama which has five acts. For Shakespeare, this whole world is a stage and all human beings on, in this world are in fact actors on this worldly stage. Today I want to add a little bit in it. This is a word which is called stage by Shakespeare and all human beings are actors on it. But I say all the actors on the stage are directed by only one person who is named as teacher in our society. not a respect. 